welcome back to the Isle of Mull. I'm back on the island for a couple of weeks and it's just an incredible place. Today I was thinking that I would do a little bit of not quite lazy photography because it's quite a good way of getting around and getting close to birds and wildlife. It's actually taking photos from your car and I've done this once before where I was photographing brambling down in Cumbria you can check out that video where I used the car as a hide and I've been here for a few days now so I have a few places in mind that I can check out and the idea is to take photos from the car to get close to birds that are here or other wildlife if I come across it and take my photos from the window of the car so I got with me as well got my bean bag and I got my camera, my 100-400 lens on it and I do have some camo, some scrim netting that I could put up in the window if I feel like I need it. But for right now though, I'm just going to drive up to the different locations where I see stuff and try and get some photos. Oh my child, I know you heard and you can't let go it's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad in the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright So I just drove up to some oyster catchers and they are just notoriously suspicious. They will just fly away by just any kind of movement or just even try and get close to them. They're just off. Um, and I, I made a car and one of them just started walking. It was in the road and just started walking out in the field. The other one was on this side and it was actually positioned very well but just as I put the lens on it, it flew around. But I think I got some flight shots of it and I was shooting in manual. My shutter speed might not have been high enough, but I tried to increase it quite quickly and I just they might be a little bit underexposed, but they might be alright. So I'm hoping that I got a few that I can rescue in there of a noise to catcher in flight just over the farm field. And this is also where I've had some lap rings. Um, and there's also there's a ton of stuff down in that river down there it's not the best for photos because everything is a little far everything is a little bit far away and what's up close is down in the grass here so i'm shooting down on it um, and not enough distance uh, from behind them you know just the ground so i'm not it's not i'm not creating any great images here all your life you've tried to be a good man inside did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good mm -hmm. I know you've tried so hard So I'm back out now, it's cleared up and I'm getting this really nice golden light So hopefully I should have a couple of hours of this light and I'm driving around where I was earlier today and catching some of these uh, lapwings and uh, wheat deers and a few meadow pipit and things like that. I'm hoping for some of these oyster catchers and wimbrels down in the field, but they're in a little bit bad position, so I might, might not get them, but we'll see. Did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll 
be alright So unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get that nice sunrise to get backlit deer or anything like that. But I'm going to continue photographing from the car this morning, and I think we're going to get some deer on the road, and I was also thinking maybe some shorebirds. So let's head on out and try and get a few more captures from the car. An important lesson I've learned here while driving around with my camera, I left my camera on the front seat next to me here, and here on Mall, there's one lane in most places, so there's a lot of stopping, a lot of people pass. And I had to brake quite hard. This thing just went flying on the floor. So I'm not doing that again, but I just left some clothes and stuff like that in the middle of me, leaving it there kind of safely behind the seat. Just a little bit of caution there. Don't just leave your camera lens on the seat next to you in case you need to emergency stop, stop fast. That just goes flying. Uh, it looks like somebody's coming up behind me. So I got the first red deer of the morning, just walking up a little hill here in front of me. Um, I've been out a few mornings here on Mull, and in this area, I don't know if it's just this area or what, but there are an incredible amount of red deer out. stretch I've just come across an otter almost all the way into shore it's just in the it's playing around in the seaweeds um, and it's probably about 10 20 meters from my car 15 meters from my car it's swimming away a bit now unfortunately just too many things here so I drove a little bit further along the coastline here the otter is still just out there diving um, I got a hair in position really nicely, which actually works taking photos from the car because it's got it's just a layer of seaweeds in front of it, and then it's kind of looking up out of the water hunting. So even though I didn't get that sunrise that I wanted, it's been a really nice morning just to drive around and take photos. Really enjoyed it, and and maybe I didn't get the best photos ever but there's a couple in there that's you know kind of okay-ish you know they're not amazing but but it's been a fun and nice relaxing way of going out taking some photos and a good way to approach I did notice though that a lot of birds actually got quite spooked even when I approached with a car it helped approach it helped to approach really slowly and then just actually standing still for a while and waiting for things to come back I just came across a few oyster catchers. Now the first couple flew away immediately, but I managed to just ease the car very slowly and the last one stayed put. I managed to get a good few shots of it. An important concept in photography is really kind of really emphasis when you're doing photography from the car because you can't you know you can't lie down or anything like that you're shooting from the window that's where you're shooting from um, so everything that's on the ground you noticed pretty fast that it's just not going to look very good when you take a photo at an angle down like that 
plus you're not going to be able to blur out your background or anything like that so it's obviously not going to create the best images but there's plenty of opportunities to take photos of birds and things like that in trees or on little rocks or in fence posts and there's just so many options and the reason why I mentioned the um, oyster catchers here for the shorebirds is because they often go up on rocks and stuff so they're a good one to capture from the car but uh, it's been good fun and I have a little bit of a drive back home so we'll see if I come across anything else but if not it's been a good project and I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you haven't seen any of my stuff before my name is Aspen Helen and my channel is all about wildlife photography so if you're into that please consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified when a new video comes out and uh, thank you for watching I'll catch you next time bye